in this video i am going to teach you how to send emails using django so this is a demo that i am about to show you guys so i have this basic html form so i'm going to fill it out now i'm going to enter my name adishola iridg and my email uh the proton guy at yahoo.com and then i'm just going to type in a random message i am a youtuber so once i hit submit right now it's going to send an email a confirmation email to the proton guy at yahoo.com so because i entered my email i'm going to receive a confirmation email so if i go back to um yahoo mail now and i reload this page you are going to see that i have gotten um a new email and it says hi there adishola iodeji that which is the name i typed in here and then it says thank you for contacting us this is your message and here we can see what i typed in in this form it says i am a youtuber which is exactly what i typed in in my html and css form so this is what we are going to be talking about today how to send emails in uh, django so if you come to the um official uh, django documentation in this video we are going to be using the email message class that has been written for us in django so i'm just going to be utilizing this to send our emails so before um the first thing that we need to do is we need to declare some variables in our settings.py and we need to assign them to certain values certain values so i'm just going to go to my settings so uh we need to declare email host email port email host user email host password email use tls and then the last one is email email backend so what exactly do these things mean for email host and email port it says that the django documentation says that mail is sent using the smtp host and port specified in the email host and email port so um Anytime you want to send emails, these two are a must. So in our uh, code in the settings.py, the first thing that you should do is um, first create a variable named email backend and just type this in. And because that's like a standard thing that we should do, that you should do anytime you want to use Django to send an email. And then the next thing is we need to declare the email host and email email port. So email host, because I am using Gmail, a Gmail account, is going to be smtp.gmail.com. And then for email port, it's usually equal to 587. So just go ahead and type 587 inside there. Now the next thing is email use TLS, email host user, and email host password. So uh, the Django documentation talking about email host user and email host password, it says that if these settings are set, it's going to be used to authenticate the SMTP server. So basically what this means is that um, whatever email that we are sending obviously has to have a sender, obviously has to have a sender. Now what we are going to specify in this email host user is that sender email. If we see here, the email here is additionalidg53 at gmail.com. And if I go back to the email I received, it's from additional idg53 at gmail.com. So basically, as email host user, we are specifying the sender email. And in email host password, what you need to do is type in the password to this particular email. So that is what you need to do. Then the last one is email use TLS. So what does email use TLS actually do? What does documentation say? Documentation says that email use TLS settings control whether a secure connection is used. So just go ahead and specify all these parameters and values in your settings.py. And let's move on to the next step. So the next step obviously is to have a form that you want um, the user to fill. So I have this basic form. I have, um, make sure you put your CSR token if you are using uh, HTML and CSS form. So uh, I have this basic form. You collect the, um, the person's name, the email, and the message. That is what you see here. Now the next step is to go to our views. Now because in our um, templates we put a method of post because we are posting data, sending data to the backend. We're not going to say here if request the method is equal to post. Now, using these variables, we are going to grab what the user entered in this um, field, which is the 
name email and message so we're going to say name is equals to request or post and so basically we're getting all everything that the um, user typed in in each of these fields using these three lines so this is now where the main um, thing happens so go to the top of your uh, go to the top of your views.py and import these two libraries from django.core.mail import email message and from django.conf import settings now we're importing settings because we need to make reference to what we typed in here so that we'll be able to send our email now the next thing that you need to do is um, you can just create a variable you can name it anything you want but i named my email just say email is equals to email message then open this parenthesis this so open a parenthesis and inside this parenthesis we're going to be um specifying the values or we're going to be passing in some values now the first value that it accepts is the subject the next thing that it accepts is the message that we want to send the first thing is the subject of the email the next thing is the message the actual message of the email and then the next thing is the sender that is who is sending it and then the last thing is the receiver who is receiving this email so for the subject i just passed in um, a string test email and for the message the actual message it says hi there name using this um, f format string i'm able to pass in variables inside the string so it says hi there name that is why here in the email i can see hi there additional uh, iodg additional so this backslash is just creating a new line that is why there is a new line here so thank you for contacting us this is your message again i passed it in in, in a variable so the next thing is that we need to define who is actually sending this email now because in our settings.py we have already created a variable email host user and we've put the password to this email we are now going to making reference to it and say okay the sender of this of this email is settings dot email host user that is why we important settings at the top so we are going to say that this particular uh email that we entered here is going to be the sender and then the next thing that we now need to do is that we need to now type um type in the receiver of this email so just create a list and pass in the uh, receiver here i passed in sender email because sender email is name of variable that i used to grab what the person typed in the email field inside the html form so once you've done that just pass it in into the list and you can go ahead and pass in any other email that is any other person you want to receive the email that is the recipients of the email you are supposed to pass them inside this list so once you do that the next step is this email dot fail silently is called to true so what this means is that if um there is a problem or if our program encountered a problem while trying to send this email if email dot fail silently is equal to false we are going to see all the error codes everything we are going to see um basically all the errors but if it is equal to true which is fail, fail silently is equal to true the email isn't going to be sent but we won't see any um, error if you come to the documentation let's check to see if we are going to uh, see so so this is it here it says a boolean field when it's false send mail will raise an smtp exception if an error occurs so it's going to show you an error if it is uh, equal to false but if it is true it's going to say um, it's not going to show you an error so it's going to fail silently that's why it says dot fail silently is equal to true and then the last thing you need to do is just to say email dot send that is this variable so once you hit dot send your email is going to be sent so there's one final final thing that you need to do the what you need to do is you need to um allow less secure apps now what does this mean so basically what uh, we've done here is that we've just passed in the name of uh, we've just passed in our email address and the password but when we try to um, send an email using this form google is going to block it because it doesn't recognize who is sending this email so it's going to treat it it's going to treat it as like um a hack attempt or it's going to treat it as a foul play so what you need to do is allow less secure apps so go to a new type a new tab and search for less secure apps once you've um, once that's loaded just hit the first thing that comes up 
so let's secure apps yours is going to look a little bit different from mine because i have two-step verification enabled so uh once it has loaded just um you are going to see an option where you can allow it or leave it um in its default way which is not allowed so just um allow um click the button and it's going to sorry click that button and it's going to allow less secure apps so um once you do that you are going to be able to send emails smoothly using your form so that is all for today guys if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share subscribe and come back for more videos stay blessed